We celebrate this, our Music Sunday, with a cantata written by Joseph Martin, no relation to myself, <laughs> called The Voices of Christmas. It's interactive, and you'll see in your bulletin that there are responsive readings. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy for all people. These are the voices of Christmas, witnesses to the birth of the Christ. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of Israel, the voice of all who wait. I am the voice of the prisoner waiting for freedom. I am the voice of the oppressed waiting for dignity. I am the voice of the sick waiting for healing. I am the voice of the outcast waiting for acceptance. I am the voice of the persecuted waiting for justice. I am the voice of the refugee waiting for peace. I am the voice of the grieving waiting for comfort. Oh, come here. 
hear the voice of one calling. In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the ragged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people shall see it. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of Isaiah, the voice of all who encourage others. I am the voice of the volunteer in the kitchen satisfying another's hunger. I am the voice of the therapist restoring someone's peace of mind. I am the voice of the deacon visiting the homebound. I am the voice of the counselor listening to those bound by addiction. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name 
was Mary. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of Gabriel, the voice of all messengers. I am the voice of the clergy, heralding salvation. I am the voice of the missionary, bringing the good news of Christ's coming to other lands in other languages. I am the voice of the hospice volunteer, giving comfort to those in pain.
And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of Mary, the voice of all who are filled with wonder. I am the voice of the new mother singing a lullaby to her firstborn. I am the voice of a child laughing and playing in his first snowfall. I am the voice of the bridegroom singing a love song to his bride. I am the voice of the earth as it wakes from the slumber of winter to the birth of spring. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, 
and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And the angel said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ, the Lord. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of the shepherd, the voice of the common man. I am the voice of the farmer planting his crops. I am the voice of the nurse holding the hand of the sick. I am the voice of the teacher encouraging young minds. For all who work in the mainstream of life, I am the voice of the shepherd. Lift your eyes and look into the heavens. Who created all these? Have you not heard? Day after day pour forth speech, night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the world. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of the star, the voice of all that God has made. I am the voice of the heavens, declaring God's glory. I am the voice of the skies, proclaiming the work of his hands. I am the voice of the ocean waves, thunderously applauding God's might. I am the voice of the lion, the eagle, the whale, 
and the whisper of the butterfly. I am the voice of all creation, and I bear witness to God's majesty. Now Joseph was a righteous man who had in his mind to divorce Mary quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. Hear the voices of your creation, O Lord. I am the voice of Joseph, the voice of all who seek guidance. I am the voice of the parent caring for the physically challenged child. I am the voice of the college student leaving home for the first time. I am the voice of the critically ill facing decisions about treatment. I am the voice of the unemployed, trying to pay bills. I am the voice of the widow, facing loneliness. <laughs> 